Hey YouTube, it's Manny. So for a while now I've wanted to create a new, new intro video. The one I've had was very generic. It's one of those ones where you go to a website called placeit.net. You basically th take, take a template, you throw, slap your logo on it, and then you put some text on it, and then they generate it, and it has music and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's, it's good. It's good for a start, but I wanted something a little more personal, something that was a little more me. So first thing I did was I wanted to create a new logo for myself, which I like graffiti style, so I got uh, I went over to Fiverr and had an artist create graffiti style maniocrity. Um, his name is Drosky. I'll put a, a link to uh, his Fiverr channel in the description below. He did a great job, so I had no problem. I paid for it, but I have no problem promoting him as well because he did a great job, quick, fast, looked great, exactly what I wanted. So I had that done up a couple months ago, but I haven't done anything with it since. And I've been thinking about how I want to actually my intro to look. So since it's a graffiti style. I thought for a long time that like, what about having it like spray painted across the screen? I thought that would be really cool. But I have no idea how to do any of that stuff, right? I use a, a product called Movavi, uh, Movavi Video Editor Plus. So that's what I use. Um, I actually, a little while ago, did a tutorial with them on how to create like, you know, the, um, here's a YouTube sub button, here's a bell ding, blah, 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 blah. So I learned a few things using animations with them. So I kind of put it all together. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I think it looks pretty snazzy and pretty slick. So. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I created all my art assets, other than the logo, the logo I paid for, everything else I created myself, not many, there's only three art, th three art assets. There's the actual logo itself, which I'm just gonna dump in there. There's the sound of the spray paint can shaking and spraying, and then there is also just a quick cover up and something to uh, co cover the logo and slowly display it. You'll see what I'm doing. Uh, so here's the intro, and then we'll get into the rest of it. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, so here we go. This is Movavi uh, Video Editor Plus. So this is what we're gonna be using. Now, like I, like I always do, there'll be a link to where you can find this in the description below. Now, this is not a free piece of software. I think you can get a trial license for like a month or so. I don't know how long it is. But I think right now uh, you can get like the regular video editor for like 40 bucks and the editor plus for 60 bucks. So that's a personal license. I think it's pretty, it's well worth it. That's what I use when I edit my videos. But before we get into this, let's get into creating the assets. So the first asset we're gonna create is um, the sound. All right guys, so how I recorded the sound was, I basically got my lapel mic out, right? Um, and just a can of spray paint. Now make sure you do this in well ventilated area. Don't do it near your furnace in your basement. Um, outside probably better, but it's late right now, so I'm gonna do it down here. And all I do basically do is I just put the lapel mic low and just record it. We wanna shake the can for a few seconds and then spray for a few more seconds. Remember, we're only doing about six to seven seconds, so one to two seconds of shaking the can, and then probably like four, five seconds, three, four, five seconds of uh, spraying, all right? Ready, just like this. That's it guys, that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, that's how we're gonna get our sound. Well, um, I did this just with actually the uh, Android recorder, voice recorder on my phone, but this is actually being recorded through this. We can actually detach the audio. I'll probably just show you using the voice recorder that I recorded earlier. All right, so that's the sound. Basically, we're gonna just upload that to Google Drive or something like that so we can pull it over on our computer. Now, what we wanna actually do is create, we have to create another asset that's actually gonna block the uh, logo itself. And we're gonna, in order to do that, we're gonna use GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. So here it is here, I'll obviously once again, link in the description below. So first thing we're gonna do is go file new. We're gonna create 1920 by 1080 because that's the size of our video. We're gonna say advanced and we want fill with trend. Make sure this is transparency. Sometimes it's at the background color, hit okay. Now we have it here. First thing we gonna do is select paintbrush and we're gonna have actually, um, we, we want the fuzzy brush and then we're gonna have hardness to zero. It's gonna be black. And we're just gonna start in the corner and we're gonna make like a U, a, a, a backward C shape. Like just kind of go like this. Make it almost look like a spray paint, you know, like psh. So then we're gonna do fill, 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 throw black in here. Go back to the paintbrush, hardness all the way to 100. And we just wanna fill this little section in here. So it's filled, so it's actually gonna cover and it looks like a little right there. That's it. So that's our piece. We're gonna actually file, save this, export as. 
uh, we'll call it uh, spray.png and we'll put it wherever desktop, right? And export it. That's it. Now we're going to import it. All right, so now we have our assets. So we're going to simply, uh, we have open it up. We go to uh, file import. We want to add a file. We're going to go to desktop and I have a folder called assets. We're going to click on these three assets. We're going to add all of them. They're all in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to intro video. So the T for uh, titles, intro videos, and the very top new intro video. Click on that. Now, once you have this down here, you're going to actually click on, there's an edit button right there. Edit this intro Click on that. Now we're simply going to delete this background they have. We're actually going to go back up to the file thing and go to backgrounds and we're going to add a bit black background. I just make it a little bit bigger because it's going to be a few seconds. That's too big, but that's fine. All right. So next thing is we're actually going to uh, add another video track. We're going to go to our media bin. We're going to select our logo and we're going to drop our logo in here. All right. We're going to leave a little space because we want the spray paint can shaken before we start actually exposing it. So uh, let's actually make this a little bit smaller. We'll go what? Uh, we'll go about six seconds, I'd say, right? I'll make this up to this time. All right. So, and this is at what point? Two, I feel like one and a half. So we'll do a little more like that. All right, okay. So now we have our logo, but we, we want to shrink the, make the logo a little smaller. So what we're going to go down is here and go to, uh, so down here, more tools, overlay, and always grab the corner to keep the aspect ratio of the logo the same. If you start grabbing these corners, you'll skew the logo a little bit and it just doesn't look as good. All right, so we have that now. The next thing we're going to do is go back to our media bin, select our spray paint, and we're going to drop that in right like there. All right. However, we want, we want to switch these because we want the actual logo to be underneath like that. And that way it blocks it and covers it. Right. But we can see it's a little bit there. So go back to overlay, grab this edge and boom, covered. Now let's go to animations and we're going to do, uh, we're going to actually add an animation where this is just basically going to slide left to right. So it's going to slide left to right. I'm going to write rightward. I'm going to drop this right in here. Actually, scale this a little bit bigger, make it look bigger. All right, put this over the edge, this all the way over here, right? And let me shrink this down. All right, there we go. Now, when we play this, no sound yet, but you can see it slowly. It's almost like a little fade there, right? Doesn't look too bad. What we're gonna do though is click on here and we have our animation, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, every three little tick marks, two, three, we're actually going to right click in here, animation, add keyframe. We're going to go one, two, three. Click animation, add keyframe. One, two, three. Which is going to give it a, a little bit smoother. Uh, one, two, three movement as we move things around. We, we want to make it look, we don't want it to go straight across. We want to actually go up and down. One, two, three. So it looks more like a spray paint. And one, two, three. And this is probably going to be the last one because one, two, three. That's yeah, already off. All right. So now go back to our first keyframe. We double click it and we're just going to move it down a little bit, right? Go to the next one. Move it down a little bit more. Go to the next one. Move it up. Go to the next one. Well, down a little bit. Next one. Move it up. Next one. And we'll go up a little more. All right. Now, when we play this, it's not going to look so smooth. It's going to look more like someone spraying with a can. Give a little bit better feel to it. All right. So that's done. What we want to do is add some sound. There's no sound in here yet. So let's go to our assets and we added our spray can. So we copy this and drop this down here. Now it's awfully, it's a lot bigger than what uh, we originally have here. We only need about, you know, five and a half, five to six seconds. So let's, let's kind of mix it up. So we want to make sure we stop the shaking right about here and start the spraying. So let's play it for a second. All right. So that's right where the spray starts, right? So we look here and we just go what? All right. So let's try, let's try something like this. Hold on. 
Let's see. That looks pretty good. So let's make this a little bit longer. Now we're going to play it. All right, so it obviously goes on a little long. We want to make sure we get the cans shut off though. So we're going to cut it back here and drag our thing right about there. You can see that's where it basically cut off. I snip this and select that end and delete that, right? Now, I want to take this over here. So what we want to do is let's, let's break this in half, right? So I basically just put it in there. I hit that uh, cut. We're going to drag this a little bit this way, this over here, and we're going to drag this. Oops, sorry. We're going to basically shorten this up a little bit. I want to put it like right like that. Actually, maybe even a little bit like this. All right. Let's see how this sounds. I'm just playing around with it. Just to uh, see how it looks. Nice, that's not too bad. That's basically all I did. Play it again. There's our intro. Not the greatest spray paint can in the world, but that's what it is. All right, so now that we have all this, we want to say apply and return. And now when we play it here, it has all those assets and everything built into it. And now we actually, if you hover over here, you have a little save button. You want to save this intro. New intro save, you can call it YouTube intro, whatever you want to call it, YouTube intro. I probably have everyone called this, so if I hit save, no, I don't. Um, I actually have mediocrity intro. That's the one I use. This is the one we just created. Now we have it saved, and now I can just drop it in any video I want. It's already saved in here. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And you can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mediocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be happy to answer any questions about this stuff over there. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.